Welcome back to Nether Creature Crafts. Happy Holidays. Hope you're having an enjoyable one. Today we're going to build a nativity scene that can double as a barn or farmhouse for tabletop games. I use this picture of a nativity scene for reference and then I cut out a base of foam. You know, the usual. After that was all cut out, and I knew I had enough room using some D&D miniatures for reference, I cut out some timbers using XPS foam. Once we had a sufficient amount of timbers, we went ahead and textured them using a pencil, just carving some fake wood lines into them. Check it out. Once we had all those textured, we used one of our D&D minis for reference and how tall we wanted this building to be. These are going to be the main support columns of the building. I made them about 7 centimeters. On one side I wanted it to slope down, so on the left side those timbers are going to be 6 centimeters. You really need to know the main structure of the building was 17 centimeters by 7. But depending on how big your base is, you may want to change that. So after hot gluing those timbers down, we started really going for it. And now taking some popsicle sticks and a wire cutter, to cut off the ends, we wanted to make the back wall of this nativity scene. Kind of looks like a fence to me, so popsicle sticks seemed appropriate. We cut those all down to size and used one supporting T structure in the back. We started gluing those down. Here I am just making sure that that support T structure actually fits to the back of my building. And yeah, we just use PVA glue one by one till the fence was complete. Then I took some wax paper and put it on top and weighed that down with a book overnight. The next day that was looking pretty solid, but it looked too clean. In my fantasy world things are a bit beat up. We planned out where we wanted this back wall to be. That looked pretty good. So we went ahead and took an X-Acto knife and started making some striations along the wood just to give it some more texture when we paint it up. Not really necessary, but like I said, in my fantasy world, things are pretty gnarly. And voila, texture. The way I glued this down was with PVA glue. I added some sand after I laid the glue down. That's going to help hide the seam, add some extra texture, and also make a more supported bond to the foam and the popsicle sticks. Now 
Here I am just using another popsicle stick to start the other wall. That wall wasn't going to be a full wall, just kind of a half high one. So just one popsicle stick will do. For the next step we wanted to plan out the roof. I decided to use cardstock. So here I am cutting up the roof. Cardstock. Cereal boxes. You have this stuff laying around. Super cheap material, great for crafting. All right, and here was our idea for the thatch roof. We're gonna use some PVA glue and water. That's what's in the green sauce bottle. And an old brush. This big brush we're gonna use to cut it up. Yeah, that's gonna look like fake straw on our roof. So we slap on some glue, start cutting up that old brush. Here we go. The next day after that had dried, it looked pretty terrible. It looked like cheese had dried to a piece of cardboard. So off screen, I went and cut up the rest of that brush into this bin and I laid down another layer. Fingers crossed this doesn't look like cheese in the end. All right, and while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and build up this half high wall. I just slapped down some more glue, threw some rocks on top, threw some glue on top of the rocks, and let it dry for another day. Looks pretty good. I didn't wanna just do a bunch of wood for this little barn. So I thought a little half high rock wall would help break it up. Now we got to add a little bit more visual interest to this piece. So these mini pickle barrels you get from Hobby Lobby are pretty awesome. It's like three, three or four bucks for a bag of these. I have a bunch of them. We just hot glue them down after we kind of figure out where we want them. It's going to help make this look like something. After the pickle barrels are down, we got some beads. We're gonna lay those down to look like, I don't know, some ceramic pots or something that are laying around in this little nativity scene. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, once we were happy with a little bit of detail, we went ahead with some PVA glue and black paint and covered the whole piece. Started adding some rocks while the glue and paint were still wet, just to add some more texture. Here we have these river rocks and some just sand. Pretty simple, nothing crazy, just adding texture. Not too shabby, let's let that dry and we take the roof outside and we're going to spray paint that white. Looks a little bit better and less like cheese. So now we're going to use some yellow and brown. We're going to paint all over that to kind of emulate hay that would be on top of a roof back in the old timey days. I'm not really sure what they use, but it kind of looks like hay. Yellow cheese, pretty cool. Now on to the painting step. This is where it really gets fun. We spray painted the whole thing white and then we just went bananas with a bunch of different browns. Here we have some light brown to start. I kind of wanted the floor to look like it was sand or something. Uh, once I realized that that 
Yellow brown was too close to the color of the roof. I did add some darker brown while that paint was still wet, kind of blending them together. Started painting our rocks black and some of the woods different colors of brown. Eventually we go back to the black rocks and dry brush them up to gray. And the piece starts kind of coming together from here. If you've made it this far, I just want to thank you so much for watching. This was a really quick build as I wanted to get it done before Christmas, that way we could enjoy our holidays with our family. Thank you all who have liked and subscribed, commented in the past. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. And yeah, we're gonna have the reveal shot up here soon. Just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And I love you guys. Be excellent unto each other. I'll see you next year. Cheers.